Howdy, folks. Howdy. Good morning. I'm Black Dragon, and welcome to another edition of Black Dragon Biker News Network. Biker News you can trust. And as always, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in from wherever it is in the world that you may happen to be. Good morning. Uh, like, share, and subscribe if you're just now tuning in. Uh, our Biker News channel. We cover Biker News every day and MC Protocol and stuff like that. So like, share, and follow, and subscribe. We can really use the views. I tell you what, um, you, you know, sometimes... Um, you know, I think maybe for all of us, it, it, it is it is we who cause our own demise. Uh, yeah, whether you know you're you're on your motorcycle or you are um, uh, uh, passionate about something or you know whatever it is that that you may be beyond. Uh, some guys have to. Uh, fly airplanes. Other guys have to jump out of ships, uh, whatever the case may be. But um, it, it, it really, it really sucks when, when you stand for something kind of stupid and uh, it comes back to, to bite you in the end. And that's what this first story is about. That's what this story is about. Um, and, and the funny thing about it is it's about helmet laws. And I'm actually old enough to have lived through when most of the helmet laws hit the United States. And, and they all came through at pretty close, if I remember right, to the same time, somewhere in the early nineties, like maybe I want to say in California, it was like maybe 92 or 93 or something like that. So, you know, we're at 30 years. Um, and almost the entire country had, has helmet laws now, except for some like Oklahoma where I'm from and Kansas and Texas and Arkansas. Like I, that, like they don't have helmet laws, or, or actually they do have helmet laws. If you, in Oklahoma where I'm from, you can get a license at 14 to ride a motorcycle, um, a 125cc enduro, or, or 125 cc motorcycle. Uh, back then, uh, when I was a kid, it, it may be something a little bigger or smaller now. Um, and and um, uh, so if you're underneath. If you're below the age of, I, I think it's it's either 18 or 21, then you have to have a helmet. And then if you're above that age, then you don't have to helmet have a helmet. And then there are some funny laws, like some places say, well, you don't have to helmet have a helmet if you're um uh, if you have ten thousand dollars worth of insurance and stuff like that. And Black Dragon is going to tell you that. Now, when 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 I was national president of my motorcycle club, I absolutely made it a standing order. We didn't put it in the bylaws, but it was a standing order that you were going to wear a helmet every time you got on your motorcycle. Period. Um, that law has since been relaxed in my organization, but I I for one don't think it should be in this case. A Florida attorney who opposed uh, state helmet laws dies in a motorcycle crash while not wearing a helmet. Absolutely. Like, then life is a horrible, vicious, mean, cruel circle. I, I, I bet you the, the, the state lawmakers he, he used to fight against are saying, I told you. I told you, man. I told you so. It's like the, the worst thing in the world. I told you so. This is coming from NBC News on the AOL platform. 
motorcycle crash. Florida attorney who opposed state helmet loss dies in a motorcycle crash while not wearing his helmet. Friends are speaking out after a Florida attorney who fought state helmet laws died in a motorcycle crash while not wearing one. Ron Smith, an experienced rider. And, 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 and I, I want to point out, this is important, an experienced rider. Because, you know, it's only the experienced rider and the master diver and the master parachutist. These are the people that die from the stupidest things because they get complacent and comfort comfortable i can tell you the the brand new scuba diver he's checking everything all the time it's the new scuba diver the masters it's the master scuba diver that's um it, also you see it in karate uh you know the master black belt get his head took off for making you know the mistakes that uh, the poor chap has to suffer the loss of his head from. So just just remember that word, experience. Don't let it get you in trouble. Don't let being an experienced writer make you somebody who, well, uh, you know, winds up in a bad place. But anyway, Ron Smith, an experienced writer, was killed on August 20th after he lost control of the motorcycle and crashed into a utility trailer. His girlfriend, and this is very sad, Brenda Volpe, or maybe Volpe, but uh, we'll say Volpe was his passenger, and she also died. He was a guy that you went to for advice, Gary Puss, uh, Pruss told the Tampa Bay Times. The pair met through a group called the American Legion in Old Town. Smith was traveling on U.S. 19 North in Pinellas County when he began to slow down the traffic, lost control of his motorcycle, and skid on the roadway. The Florida Highway Patrol wrote in an accident report. His bike rotated in a clockwise motion, overturning onto its left side and collided with the left side and wheel of the utility trailer. Oh, man, that must have been horrifying. The bike hits the ground and starts this 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 death spiral. A medical examiner said Smith and Volp died from head trauma. The Times reported the office did not immediately return a request for comment on Wednesday. The accident report noted that neither was wearing a helmet at the time of the crash, although it is unknown whether one would have prevented their deaths if they had been wearing them. Smith had spent over a decade fighting Florida laws that required the use of helmets. According to the Tampa Bay Times, he represented a number of clients who violated state motorcycle requirements in court cases that have been credited with helping to overturn the helmet law. The current law states that anyone over the age of 21 can ride without headgear as long as they have at least $10,000 insurance coverage for injuries incurred as a result of a crash while operating or riding on a motorcycle. Dave Noonan, a friend, told the newspaper that Smith loved his independence and did not like being told what to do. He thought everybody should have their own choice, he said. In one court case from 1996, that's about the time those laws were coming in, uh, Smith represented a man who was ticketing, who was ticketed for riding his motorcycle without a helmet in uh, Madeira Beach, according to the Times, citing a Tampa Tribune article. As a result of the case, the Pinellas Sheriff's Office briefly stopped enforcing the state's helmet law after a judge dismissed the person's citation. The judge based the decision on another case that Smith fought in which it was ruled that Florida's helmet law was unconstitutional. At the time, Smith told the Tribune, that he got on his bike and went looking for a ticket by riding through Pinellas County without a helmet for at least 90 miles. I passed at least half a dozen cops, he said, and all I got was a sunburn. Well, unfortunately, uh, our man uh, got more than a sunburn and uh, passed on to glory. 
Um, so here's here's how I you know there's a a, a lot of stuff that um, you got to think about when it comes to helmets and I. Everybody I've ever seen in my club that had a wreck um, hit their face and head, and and we went to it as a as a, a rule uh, when we had like I don't know eight ch- people from four or five different chapters go down within like a thirty day period. I remember then regional president um, uh, uh, Big G went down with his lady on the back uh, on the way riding to um, here, riding here to a to, to Macon. We we actually we have a Macon party coming up um, in a few days. Anybody that wants to hang out with us uh, can hang out with us down at the Macon annual. I need to need to put that out for y'all. But anyway. Um, they were on their way here and they fell off that motorcycle at 80 miles an hour and they were just sore in the hotel. They sent back pictures of their helmets and the whole front face of both the helmets was messed up. The side, if that had been, it was just scratches on helmets that were replaced. Had that been their head and faces, they wouldn't have had any teeth or lips or anything like that. Their, they, their, their skulls would have been scalped off. You folks got to know that not wearing a helmet is crazy. Oh, I can't see. I don't get the it, Yeah. Get out of here. I can't see. I can't see. I can't feel. I, I feel enclosed. I, I can't, bro. When your head hits that asphalt, bro, it ain't, it, nothing comes good of anything that hits the asphalt. You see that? Nothing comes good of anything that hits the asphalt. You see, you see this, you see this half a thumb I have here? Yeah. So, um, I, man, y'all stop playing, man. Stop playing. There's too much research about it, man. Pablo Suggle says, I personally wear a helmet, but don't try to make me. And that's the problem with America. We don't like nobody telling us what to do, even if it's for our own good. Don't tell me to put on a mask. Now, you know, I see so many people with masks today. So many people, even Republicans, I'd be like, ain't you a Republican? What what you doing? You know, you're not supposed to have no mask on, man. No, it's okay now, Black Dragon. It's okay. Because now nobody's telling me I have to wear one. that's, That's what it was all about. People hate to be told what to do. Somebody said 1991 in California, Pete Wilson Oh, good old Pete Wilson. I, man, that dude. I didn't like him because he wouldn't let the Indians have gambling machines in their casinos on Indian land. Uh, getting pushback from fought, caving to the Las Vegas hotel casino gambling lobby. Interesting, huh? So uh, the guy, oh, Moji says... Um, Jimmy Hesselden, the British inventor of the Segway, died falling off a cliff on a Segway. When it's our time, we aren't going to keep it from happening. On that, not on that note, I wear an Arai carbon fiber modular. Nice $750 or better helmet. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, SSW says a quality helmet, a quality made helmet that fits, protects the noggin and doesn't make you feel like a Pez dispenser. 
and it doesn't have to be that expensive. Yeah, those arise are when you get towards a, a rise, you're you're walking in the big dog. You you step into the tall cotton with the big dogs. They got they got HGC HJCs and stuff like that. Um, Cycle Gear makes a helmet. You know what I mean? Um, but um, uh, you you know, I I think you can't spend enough for it. It's your noggin, and also. You're supposed to refresh that helmet every. Some of you guys are riding with 1972 Bell helmets, like, like those. <laughs> the helmets have a shelf life. They're almost like an egg. It ain't good forever, especially after you've dropped it a few times. I just replaced my helmets. I bought all brand new helmets. Um. Uh, bought Tia a new helmet. You can't be messing around with helmets, bro. You got to you gotta be replacing those out, especially after you drop. Actually, you're supposed to replace your helmet after you drop it one time. I, I don't know if you guys knew that or not. Here, uh, Wise on two wheels says, yep, here in South Carolina, no lid required by law. I'm mostly wearing my half bucket, but keep my face, my full face packed. He owns a full face, but he just can't be bothered with putting it on. Y'all are crazy. I, I, I be putting my full face on. I put my full face helmet on because I don't want to die. Oh, no, by the way, that is the end of that segment, the new segment. So now we're on to comments and we, um, we're, we're on the comment section and we're also, uh, on the question and answer Friday. So you can, Ask me any questions you want for the next uh, little bit. But first, I just want to say about helmets. <clears throat> me, 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 me. Yeah. Put that helmet on. You need to put that helmet on. You don't need to be caught out there without having that helmet up there. It does you no good to fall on the highway and you go that way and your head goes my way. Put that helmet on, baby. Put that helmet on. Yeah. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Put that helmet on. Don't be crazy. What the hell's wrong with y'all? Uh, question and answer time. What questions do you guys have for me? Uh, if you want, let me see. Yeah, if you want, you can call me if you have a question uh, over MC protocol or something like that. Um... If not, we're going to get the hell out of here. So let me, uh, Duke Rose says, I've lost too many brothers to not wearing a helmet. 11 funerals in the year of 2017. Oh, well, BMC, uh, my, my club brother, uh, out there says, uh, my club brother bat says gloves are a biggie as well. A lot of people be sleeping on the gloves. Until you slid down the highway with those gloves off and got up to red pulps. Because, you know, normally when you fall, you'd be like, ah, just imagine putting those down at 90. A funny thing, I, I, I've been riding at 90 before and reached down and drug my hand on the ground. And it's so cool. But it's, it's, but it's only like momentarily, you know, it's not like a real dragging your hands on the ground in 90 and you just imagine like, ah, no, I don't want to, I don't, ah, I don't want to fall. Imagine that. And all of a sudden, well, you know, when you get up, you're just looking at stubs. I saw one guy who was looking at bones. He had scraped his hands down to the bones. And I personally know what that's like, because when I when I lost this tip of my finger here, 
my thumb, the bone was sticking out like that. And you could move the bone. I was trying to convince the dog not to snip the bone off. That's trying to convince the doctor, please don't snip the bone off. I, it still works. He laughed at me as he cut the little bone off of what was left of my mangled thumb. Uh, someone says helmet is for the lower speed crash. So you don't bonk your head live and now need your backside wiped by your wife and kids for 30 years. They help at 70 miles per hour too. Council MC CMA council CMA says something very important here. It, and, and, and that is that. So we, we had a, a girl in the sisters of the cross program of the black Sabbath motorcycle club. Uh, and Sisters of the Cross of the Black Sabbath, those are women who actually ride motorcycles. And the Sisters of the Cross program was invented by me in about, I don't know, 2011, 2010, something like that. And she left her old club and joined the Sisters of the Cross because she had a motorcycle wreck at 25 miles an hour, maybe even, maybe even 15 miles an hour. She was just in the parking lot, fell off her motorcycle, and she cracked her skull, leaked skull fluid out on the ground and everything. She was in the hospital for like five or six months because she had cracked her skull at just like 25, 15, 20, 18 miles an hour or something. And she was messed up. She left her club because nobody came to see her in the hospital, which uh, we talk about reasons to leave the club, and that's one of them. Uh, so it it uh, uh, it's it's um, it's ugly, man. It's ugly. Uh, you it, so he brings a, a, a an important point up, and that is going slow you can hurt your head too, right? Absolutely. In Massachusetts, someone says, if you have a motorcycle license and ride a motorcycle, you automatically become an organ donor. Uh, like on your license, they put, oh, organ donor. Can they do that? <laughs> I want to take all my stuff that I came here with with me uh, in case I need it in the other life. Uh, I will always wear my helmet when I'm on my own, when I'm on my bike makes sense to me. Modular is the way to go for me. So a lot of people say that modulars are not as safe as full face helmets. You know, modulars are the ones that are full face, but you hit a button and they pop up. Uh, a lot of people say modulars aren't as good, but Hey man, they're much better than nothing. They say when you have a wreck on a modular, uh, it can pop open. But it's only going to pop open after you've taken the, the the first hard, heavy blast. Hey, listen, they used to have this channel called, oh, my goodness, called Rotten.com. And Rotten was a rotten channel. And on Rotten.com, they had a picture of a poor guy who had uh, pr probably not had a helmet on. He had lost his whole chin. His teeth were crushed. His tongue was hanging out his mouth, uh, and he had lost his face all the way almost up to his eyes. Uh, and and I never knew if that picture was real or fake. It, but if it was real, oh, my God, it was terrifying. Did anybody ever see that picture? It was terrifying. Terrifying. It made me not want to ride motorcycles for a while. Stupid is a stupid does for us, Gump. I have crashed without a helmet a couple times. Hard lesson. So like I was saying, we went to that rule in the Black Sabbath because we had like, like I don't know, seven or eight accidents one year. And everybody that was wearing a helmet fared well, but the one guy or two guys that weren't got their whole faces tore up and everything else. They got messed up, man. So it just seems kind of apropos, but the circle circles back that a attorney who fought that law for so long would have succumbed on a motorcycle without his helmet. We don't want to hear that happen to anyone. 
I don't know. Helmets just seem like common sense to me. But people down in Florida and Oklahoma and Missouri and Arkansas and Texas and even when my bros and stuff be riding up to Kansas. As a matter of fact, you guys saw me riding in Kansas. Uh, I had a video up where I rode one time without a helmet because uh, my bros talked me into it. And even me, like the helmet dude, can be talked into that silliness. Oh, yeah, man. Come on, dragon. Come on, man. You're getting old. I got my dumb ass out there without a helmet. Sure enough, hanging out all night with the bros and everything. On the way back to the hotel, it decided to become a windstorm. No helmet, no glasses. I'm riding like this. My my eyes are full of sand and, and highway pe uh, 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 sediment. And I'm trying to ride like this. Just trying to get my head up underneath the windshield and I'm making a video and I'm saying, boy, y'all know good and damn well. I, I be normally having a helmet on this right here is the silliest damn thing I've ever done. It, it was just, it was sad. Uh, but so you can't let peer pressure dehelmetize you because, because those fools that don't care about their heads will surely have you out there uh, looking crazy and and not caring about your Let me, what I'm trying to do is actually find that TikTok. And whenever you pull up TikTok, it, it has a way of taking over your whole damn computer like so many of these other programs. I want to show you guys that video where um let's see if we can find it here uh find that video where i was out there looking like a damn fool with no helmet on that was back yeah uh, let me go back here back 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 dang look at all these community community violations you know tiktok will community violate your butt in a heartbeat man in a straight up heartbeat um where are we hmm uh right around in here somewhere that's not that is uh right around in here somewhere it's right where you had the fool here it is called oklahoma storms okay let me bring the uh sound on the inside here uh here we go uh yeah yeah okay and action i hope you guys can hear this let me know if you can hear it Oh, you guys can't hear that, huh? Uh, uh, so I got to figure out what's going on that you guys can't hear that. Um, but anyway, if you see the video, there's my fool self riding in the storm. And uh, you can see it. I can't believe that. Look at my eyes. Look at him. Red, it's just horrible. Man, I, I, I don't understand why you guys don't hear that. Um, so I will have to do some sort of um, work in the background. It says, uh, wow, this, this, is, this is brand new for this stupid program. You guys have been working just fine, and all of a sudden... 
you ain't working. And I'm looking here. Everything is, is, is right. Everything's right in the program. Only got, hold on. Maybe, maybe, uh, we go over here to, uh, no, no, it shouldn't be a problem over there. No sound. Wow. Anyway, wasted all that time. So you guys, wow. Uh, well, we'll get it fixed. Uh, we At least we got the freezing fixed. We found out what was making the damn thing freeze yesterday. So we got that fixed a little bit at a time. All right. Uh, any more questions for me here? We, I guess we all get the point. You're supposed to be riding with a helmet, right? We get the point, right? So uh, any more questions or anything for me? Somebody said, I fell down showing off to a couple of girls once right in front of the coffee of uh, the cop shop. They were laughing so hard. I didn't get their phone number, picked my shit up and rode home and got dizzy. So I stopped by my bros to have him check me out. What was your bro of a, uh, a doctor? I mean, you can have your bro check you out. You man, you must've hit your head. Anyway, I stopped by to have my bro check, check, check me out. He reached up and pulled a rock out of my forehead. <laughs> and I still don't wear a helmet because I, yeah, you know, I just I ain't going to wear one. Oh, my goodness. You guys. Um, crazy as it sounds, a full face in South Carolina is considered rain gear, I guess. And, uh, yeah, that does sound crazy. You guys know you sound crazy, right? Uh, friend slid for 350 feet on his face, lost everything up to his skull. Oh, my God. Closed casket. Uh, a 350-foot slide on your face will, will take off your face. Uh, that was that was horrible. Uh, that was absolutely... Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes. Rotten and the faces of death. You guys remember those? Boy, those were terrible, weren't they? Uh, anyway, um, we're sorry that the attorney's gone. Sorry that, that he and his girlfriend didn't make it. Um, I tell you people, black dragon says, wear a damn helmet. Don't be crazy. Yeah. It, Cause you know, motorcycles, it, it's not, whether or not you may fall, it's absolutely that you will fall eventually. Even though my blood brother, Johnny Moto says the hell with that. I ain't falling and he's never fallen. So maybe you need to adopt that attitude, huh? Outlaw preacher depends. Okay. Uh, that's not for me. That's you guys talking to each other. Uh, cagers here in Germany ride. So drive so crappy. I prefer to wear a helmet. Yeah, it's not always you, man. It's it's not always you. Uh, thank you, Derek. One day at a time is absolutely right. Uh, we will get it all fixed. Uh, uh, <laughs> Frost says it's the first step to admitting our problems. I know I'm crazy. I still don't like helmets. Uh, for me, it, I don't like them. For me, it ain't about no like thing. It's all about trying to stay alive. Listen here. I got a whole bunch of uh, short news articles that I will be doing throughout the day. Uh, I told, I've been promising you guys that. Um, uh, but um, I've been developing my show and working with uh, uh, my, my uh, special board that I put together to uh, get some new and exciting kind of content coming and all that kind of stuff. So we're working on some cool stuff, man. And one of the things we're going to be working on is small broadcasts throughout the day, five, seven, eight minutes long. And uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but we've cut this from a hour long channel to about 30 minutes, 35 minutes. And we probably may, maybe even cut it more. Uh, we'll be doing a, 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 um, a, a, um, uh, maybe a full podcast, which is just a podcast might be doing a longer one of those. So we got some new stuff coming for you guys. Also check us out on think tactical. 
thinktactical.com. Uh, you better be thinking tactical. That'll be a cool thing for you to go check out. Um, and we will see you uh, tomorrow. And, of course, Sunday night will be the um, uh, the roundtable. And, of course, we'll see you guys. We'll probably do something tomorrow. We won't have a uh, a real show, just probably some, some uh, little shows up uh, that come. So, anyway. That's what we'll be doing. I want to thank you guys for tuning in, as you guys do with me every day. I appreciate that. And we will uh, be back, you know, new content every day. So check us out. And if you want to be on the show, if you want to, um, uh, you have something, oh, excuse me, you have something you want to talk about or whatever the case may be, hit us up, Black Dragon at BlackSabbathMC.com. Hit us up, and we will, um, we will, absolutely love to, to to cover what you might want to talk about uh if you want to um send me an email about it uh but you guys a lot of you guys have questions and you send me these emails with these long questions and that take me 15 or 20 or 30 minutes to write an answer and i just don't have time to do that i've got two books i'm working on right now i don't i just don't have the time and a lot of guys say hey well black dragon give me a call i need to talk to you about something and if i did that I would be on the phone all day long. I promise you, because I get like dozens of those a day. You guys, if you want to talk to me like that, you want me to answer your questions. You really got to set up an appointment on my uh, consultation app. It's uh clarity FM black hyphen dragon clarity C L A I R. However you spell clarity. Uh, Cause I just, I know I messed that up, but clarity dot fm forward slash black hyphen dragon uh that's the only way i gonna be able to some of you guys questions really take about 30 40 minutes to write an answer to and uh i don't i don't want you to think oh uh, man he's so stuck up i sent him a question he didn't answer it's just if you imagine that if you got 30 of those a day times 30 days how many would you have and if you took 30 minutes to answer each one of them and and I get like a hundred a day, so just just imagine that. That's uh, what it's like going through my email. All right, my friends, I thank you. I'm Black Dragon. That's my two cents. Love to hear your two cents in the comment section below. Please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell to make sure you get notified whenever we do new content. That's my two cents. Thanks for turn tuning in. And, uh, of course, um, get skinny. Hey, subscribers. Whenever you are in Macon, Georgia, you have to get over to my motorcycle club brother's cigar lounge. Haley's Cigar Lounge on Ingleside Avenue has a night or several nights just right for you. Monday night football kicks off the week. Wednesday. All right. So did you guys hear that? Uh, is that blank, too? Uh, were you guys hearing that commercial? Somebody let me know real quick so I can know how bad the damage is. Y'all still there? Listen, did you hear that commercial that I was playing? Yes. Okay, so that works. Thank y'all. Hey, subscribers. Whenever you are in Macon, Georgia, you have to get over to my motorcycle club brother's cigar lounge. Haley's Cigar Lounge on Ingleside Avenue has a night or several nights just right for you. Monday night football kicks off the week. Wednesday is whiskey night. Thursday, ladies night. Saturdays are make your night. And wrapping up the weekend, it's Sunday football. Haley's is closed on Tuesdays. Enjoy the friendly atmosphere at Haley's. Hang out at the bar or outside on the patio. They can also host your small events. Haley's Cigar Lounge, 2308 Ingleside Avenue in Macon, Georgia. Be sure to tell them Black Dragon sent you. Get Black Dragon's first book, The Prospects Bible, to learn how to join a motorcycle club. It has been an Amazon number one bestseller for the past seven years and is required reading for over 3,000 motorcycle clubs worldwide. This book is a must-have for new people venturing onto the motorcycle club set. It will teach you how to prepare yourself 
for service to the Motorcycle Club Nation and show you how to qualify a motorcycle club to be worthy of your service. Available on Amazon, Kindle, and for order at your local bookstore. Get your autograph copy at blackdragonsgear.com. Be the best motorcycle club prospect you can be. Get the book. Prepare yourself to take the helm as president of your mighty motorcycle club by delving into the pages of Black Dragon's newest book, The President's Bible, Chronicle One, Principles of Motorcycle Club Leadership. There you will learn to advance your skills in applying the 14 scientific principles of leadership similar to those taught to officers in the United States Naval Service. Available in hardcover, paperback, and ebook. Get yours today on Amazon, Kindle, or order it at your local bookstore. Order your autographed copy from blackdragonsgear.com. Be the best motorcycle club president you can be. Get the book. Well, uh, it looks like I'm looking at some breaking news right now. It seems like Nancy Pelosi's husband was violently attacked in his San Francisco home. And uh, I don't know if he survived that attack or not, but I can tell you this country is in some bad shape. Uh, I have never seen this country like this. Um, you should be able to serve in the capacity of a senator or something and and not be worried about um, your life and uh, or the life of someone in your family. And this woman has been dragged through the mud up people. I mean, people actually people showed up at the at the, at, at the Capitol screaming, not only uh, to to um behead or hang the vice president, but they were also looking uh, for Nancy Pelosi. I have friends, uh, colleagues that I work with uh, uh, on the, uh, who, who are, uh, they hate this woman so bad. I think they would kill her on site. Um, I, I have, I have friends that, that, um, people I know acquaintances that, you know, really would have hung Mike Pence that day. You know, we got to get past this. This is, this is silliness that, um, because what's going to happen is nobody decent is going to run for office. That's what's going to happen. Nobody that's worth a damn is going to run for any office. And then you're not going to like, I mean, if you don't like what you got now, you ain't really, you really ain't going to like it. Uh, when the good people say, Nah, no, thank you. I don't need this kind of mess in my life. So I don't know if the man was killed or not, uh, but he was a violently attacked, it says, in his home. So I imagine if he was dead, it would say he was. Um, this is absolutely uh, crazy. Um, I, I, You know, Ron Durham, that's what she's a crooked and evil woman. I, I don't, I, either they're all evil or they're all not. I, I, I almost think maybe all of them are evil. But, um, but we don't know any of those people personally. Like, like people that see me on this show, they don't know me personally. People make up an idea of who they think I am. But this this show is not, I mean, there's more to me than this. There's more to a person in their public office. M maybe we don't like their politics, but to call them crooked and evil. I don't know. Unless you, I don't, unless you really believe that someone is, you know, running children out of a pizza hut or something, then, then I guess they would be evil. I, I can't speak as to the politics. All I can say is that we are in a bad way in this country. We're in a bad way. Uh, are we going to start executing the elected leaders that we don't like? Uh, whether she's crooked and evil or not, she got elected and she keeps getting on, get, getting elected. So there are folks that don't think she's evil. But when we get to the point 
that we are killing elected people, then we become a banana republic. That can't be good for nobody. Somebody says the uh, social media has driven people crazy. The red party and the blue party have become tribes, not political parties. There is no middle ground anymore. Um, it, it's, it's absolutely bonkers. Doesn't matter who it is. Don't be violent towards others and stop the character assassination. It ain't morally right. It's that simple. Man, I tell you something, if this is what we're doing, then all these guys that want to see all this blood, but if you ain't never been to a war, if you ain't never been to a war, I promise you, you don't want one. I'm out.